guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Star Wars Adventures Issue 1. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic You Know Episode 207, and that show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. If you like to check out the exclusive comics in the description below, uh, you can check those out, and the episode will be linked there also. But let's start talking about Star Wars Adventures Issue 1. So this is the new All Ages book from not Marvel, but IDW. So IDW did get some Star Wars rights with this All Ages kid-friendly Star Wars book with a really cool cover. I love Derek Charm's artwork. He did uh, work for Jughead, really liked his stuff over there. Now continuing to do work on Star Wars. Really like the cover here. You get to see all the different generations of Star Wars, either if you liked the current trilogy, the original trilogy, or the prequels. You definitely get a little bit of everything. So in this book and all the Star Wars Avengers books, we are going to have two stories. Uh, the first story was Rey for this issue, and it looks like next issue will have Rey 2. And uh, also for this issue, the secondary story was Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, dealing with some clone stuff. And it looks like next issue we are going to get, let's see, we're going to get uh, Evan Verlin will be the secondary story with Ray for the second issue. Uh, but let's start talking about this issue. Uh, the Ray story was fun. You know, that's the Star Wars I really enjoy is the, the newer Star Wars as much as I like the original trilogy too. Um, I do like Ray as a character, so it's cool to see her before... Star Wars The Force Awakens and what her life was like in a fun tone of her trying to be a scavenger, you know, make a living in a way, uh, but then having to go up against um, some people in her way, which was cool. And then the Obi-Wan Kenobi story for me wasn't as entertaining. Uh, that one was a shorter story and uh, just wasn't as entertaining for me. Uh, so I like the Ray story overall and it's a good book for people who are looking for a Star Wars book for their kids or just hardcore Star Wars fans who want all the different generations of Star Wars in one book. Uh, it's not mind-blowing. It's a very quick read. I don't know if it's worth $3.99. I think it should be a $2.99 book, but overall I think it's worth giving it a shot. So Star Wars Adventures Issue 1 gets three stars. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.